I will create this binary tree on the right hand side like this binary tree the root node is 50 and 17 is child node 72 then 12 23 54 76 then 9 14 19 67 hit enter then this diagram is created please visit e.doctor.net i deleted and i copy this code copy paste it here then this graph is generated if we compare with this graph so 50 is root node here and 72 is right child and it has a child 76 76 on the left hand side this is leap node value 9 9 14 14 19 so this graph and this graph are identical in this episode we will create this data structure and also please note that this height this 67 67 is leap node leap node has a height 1 19 is also leap node has height h is 1 all leap node has height 1 height 1 height 1 height 1 height 1 height 1 now in this case 12 12 has height 2 height 1 height 2 in this case 72 its height is 3 because it has height 1 height 2 height 3 left children height is 3 on the right case height 1 height 2 so the bigger of the two is chosen so its height is 3 in case of 50 root node height is 4 in this episode we will learn how to calculate the height of node of a binary tree hi everyone my name is thomas kim today is july 9th 2019 this is my 51st episode about the future of c++ programming c++ 2a standard this is my third video about the binary tree in c++ in this episode we will learn height of a binary tree maximum depth of a binary tree algorithm for more about height of a binary tree please double click this link please watch this video about height of binary tree this concept is used to create more advanced binary tree called abl tree so if you want to understand how to create abl binary tree you have to watch and understand this episode also note that this is my third episode about the binary tree that means you have to watch my previous video if you haven't watched it because my current session continues from my previous video binary tree in c++ 2 episode 50 if you haven't watched this video please watch it we will be using source code from our previous episode so please visit extension talkplayfun.com website and click this link to download complete source code of our previous episode click show in folder unzip cpp extension in cpp extension tutorial subfolder you will find the complete source code of this episode and also you can find the source code from our previous episode start visual studio if you open cpp extension folder then you can find the tutorial subfolder click this tutorial subfolder click this button 051 binary tree 03 dot cpp hit enter double click binary tree 02 our previous source code 
Ctrl A, Ctrl C, and paste in this file. Now we can close this file. Ctrl V. I need to fix some code from our previous episode. I will first fix this function. If the element type does not support copy constructor, this function can cause problems. So I will modify like this. Constant reference. Okay? So I will fix like this. And another thing is insert. Instead of doing this, we will modify like this. Here, we will introduce template, type name, type, and it should be I value reference for optimization purpose. Okay? And here, this insert function std forward type modify function like this and also here std forward type like this. Also here, std forward type I fixed once again. Also here, std forward type like this. And here we will be using Forwarding reference, also forwarding reference, std forward type. The reason we are doing this is for optimization purpose. std forward types. Okay. We have to fix like this. Then we will add one more function here. One more member like this. int m height. We will initialize it with one. Okay. The height of a node. I will introduce one type function here. Template type name return type type name types using enable if all types are same key std enable if t we are testing if all types are the same like this talk play fun types is the same b we have to remove rep constant reference from type types like this talk play fun Remove constant reference t types. Then we have to put this. Then return type. So we defined a type function enable if t like this. Enable if all types are the same. The same. Please note that we are testing if all types are the same, of same type. With this function, I scroll down, insert here, we have to fix like this. Enable 
if all types are the same element the return type is bool so here is return type then element type type we have to fix like this we enable this function only when type and element type are same here element type is this node type also also in this function we have to fix like this enable if all types are the same return type is bool element type type types and we can remove this part we enable this function only when element type type and the types are of same type okay it's a little bit difficult if you do not know of type functions or type list okay let's get going start command prompt cls you should be in cpb extension tutorial folder function name is 051 binary 30 c c plus cpp cl ehsc sdd c plus plus 17 051 binary 303 cpp fe binary 3 exe hit enter okay we built successfully now binary 3 binary 3 hit enter i will copy this text paste as argument okay cls now i will copy this script copy here i will paste it like this okay this is the state of our previous application we made some modification in this code we added a member called uh, m height and initialized it now we create a function here like this int height will be recalculate first okay here i will modify it to mutable okay this is for cache here if we recalculate this is true then we recalculate m if re we recalculate is true we will recalculate the m height member here we will return this m height and we can put it constant here because we will put constant here so we need mutable here at this point int left height right height we will initialize it to one and one then if this m left we calculate m left is not null then left height this m left 
we call this function recursively height okay so it is a pulse I will say pulse if this m right then right height this m right height pulse okay we are calculating at this point we are calculating left height and right height then here this is the highlight this m height left height right height we compare left height and the right height we take the bigger left height right height okay we calculate we calculate left height and right height then we set m height the greater of the two m height is the greater of the two left height and right height okay this point is important i will explain this point very shortly now here void update height we call this function like this this height we pass pulse okay we assume the current node is a leap node if current node is a leap node then this part is null so we don't need to concern about this we simply get height or parent ptr this m parent the parent node over the current node parent ptr of the current node okay while parent ptr is valid we update parent ptr height we pass through okay we pass through to this function then this part will be calculated but we pass pulse here it means pulse means we use cached value of m height okay also pulse means we use cached value of m height then parent ptr we update parent ptr like this parent ptr m parent i understand that this code is a little bit complex okay actually we don't need this i think i don't think we need this i will just remove this this true true means update m height of the parent node okay with these functions now insert we have to modify insert now at this point new element a new node is inserted and set to this m left member okay so after inserting this m left update height we have to call this update height this call updates all m height members or its parents okay now also here 
a new node is inserted and set to this and write. Remember, this and write update height update or m height members of its parents i say like this now let's build once again i rebuilt we cannot see any difference yet okay we cannot see any difference yet copy paste we cannot see any difference yet and we also display the value of height in our previous episode we defined get node definition here now we will modify this get node definition like this this is node value and i will put b it displays node value then h h is height like this i will put here this m height then we fix like this with this fix we build once again and create script cls let's see once again and copy it copy it paste it here wow now we can see height of each node we will modify one more function in the function print node we implemented this function in our previous episode so if you don't know what this print node function then please watch my previous video now here if this m parent is valid then we create one more node like this os get node name os sorry we print out current node name then arrow this m parent get node name os i will fix like this we display parent node and os we can define edge color like this shape dash it style dash it then and l also here we will modify this part color red left child node is printed with color red and right child is printed with color blue we build once again and binary tree hit enter cls i will copy this text copy and i will put it here paste so this is new graph okay black dashed line shows parent relationship blue arrow means right child red arrow means left child so this is the left child and this is the left child this is right child this graph is a little bit confusing so i will add one more enumeration here 
enum class child status int left child left child will be initialized to minus one no child is zero right child is one okay we define the child status enumeration of type int now i will create one more function i will put it here child status get child status binary node child if this m left should be valid this m left get equal to child return child status this is left child else if i will copy this part paste this is right m right and m right then we return child status right child else return child status no child so it is testing if a node is a child okay with this function here print node i will fix this part if this m parent get child status we are passing this okay auto child status i just say status copy if status equals child status left child then we print with the red color color red else if i will copy this part once again paste it here right child then i will copy this part then we print out with the blue color so i fixed this part and i will fix one more here now let's try it we rebuild cls generate once again i copy up to this point copy the i paste it here so i will explain about this graph let me explain this graph of a binary tree in this graph red arrow represent left children in this graph blue arrows represent right children blue arrows represents right children in this graph this dashed arrow red dashed arrow blue dashed arrow represent parent child relationship dashed arrows represent parent child relationship take note about this leap node this is 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 leap node okay leap node's height h1 is height is 1 leap node's 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 height is 1 the height of a leap node is 1 also node 72 is right child of node 50 node 76 is the right child of node 72 
the value of the right child is greater than that of its parents. Another thing, now let's think about left child. The value 9 is less than the value 12. This node is left child of this node. Also again, 19 is less than 23. The value of the left child is less than that of its parent. Understanding this thing is very important. Suppose we are inserting a new node value 25. Okay, we will insert value 25 to this binary tree. Value 25 is less than value 50. So it moves to left child. Then this value 25 is compared with value 17. Value 25 is greater than value 17. So it takes right child node. Okay, this is right child node. So value 25 is now compared with value 23. Value 25 is greater than value 23. So it creates right child node and it becomes 25. A new node is entered here and its parents is 25. This is a new node. Please note that the value of child, the value of child is greater than the value of its parents. The value of child 76 is greater than the value of 72. In case of right children, since value 25 is right children of 23, value 25 is greater than its parents. In this case, this new node is a leap node. Another very important property is that a new node inserted always ends up as a leap node. A new node inserted always ends up as a leap node. The height of a leap node is always 1. We initially set default value height as 1 because a new node inserted always ends up as a leap node and the height of a leap node is always 1. Okay? Now, let's see insert function. This is insert function. A new node is inserted and in this case as left member or in this case as right member. New node is inserted and set to right member. This right member is leap node. This new inserted node is a leap node. Okay? So in this case, here too, new inserted node is a leap node. Now let's think about this part. Okay? In this case, the height is 1, the height is 2, and the height here, this is left, left child's height, left height is 3. Okay? In this case, right height is 2, 1 and 2. So, Left height of this node is 3. Right height of this node, this node is 2. When we calculate the height, we calculate left height and right height separately. Then we compare and take the greater of the two. M height is the greater of the two, left height and right height. So that's why we used this operation. So it gives height 3. Also note that if we insert a new value, 25, for example, then it, it, it will travel here, then here, then 25 
a new height is 1 will be inserted here as a child node of this value 23 because a new leap node 25 is inserted as a child node of 23 in this block right node of 23 right child of node 23 in this code we enter the 25 then its height should be fixed to 3 and its height also should be updated for its height also should be fixed updated to 5 so after inserting 25 after inserting a new member we have to update the height of these parents node then update the height this function is defined here and in this loop block its parent in this case 23 okay 23 is taken 25's parent initially this parent pointer points to 25's parent is 23 23's height is recalculated. True means recalculate, recalculate the height. Okay, so it will be recalculated to 4. Then, after recalculating, it is taking its parents again. Now, node 20, 23's parents will be 17. Node 17. Its value is also recalculated. Then it takes its parents, 17th, node 17th parents will be node 50. 50's height will be updated, recalculated 5. So this code is traveling this path. Okay? If a new node, for example, is added, for example, 13, a new node is added, then new leap node's parents 14, its height will be updated to 2, and this height will be updated to 3, and this height will be updated to 4, and this height will be updated to 5. So, after inserting, after inserting a new leaf node, we have to update all height. Also, in this case, we have to update all height of its parent's node. Okay? I think I can further optimize this part of code like this. If parent PTR is valid, I will enclose this like this or all the height parent PTR M height then we compare new height if all the height is different from parent ptr height true then we call this function like this parent ptr parent ptr m parent we first save all the height of the parent then we update the height of a parent then we compare if they are different then we update height of parents parent otherwise we can skip this part it will further optimize our algorithm i will build once again 
to test if it works hit enter and we will generate all the gb okay all the gb now we will insert 25 here we insert 25 new gb then we can compare this is all the gb and i will insert new one Control A, copy. Now we can compare. See, we inserted 25 here. Then it is inserted and the height 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4 is the same. It hasn't changed in this case. We will insert 18. New, new, okay. Copy. I will put it here. Now let's see. So we inserted as left node of 18 here. And it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In this case, 1, 2, 3, 4. So its height is all updated successfully. I understand this algorithm is quite complex, but if you understand what we are doing, you will understand how to implement ABL binary tree. I will upload complete source code to this website. By the time you watch this video, if you click this link, you can get this source code and I will put the script I will put this sample text for your try I will copy this and I will put it here as a sample when you compile you can do like this or you can just put txt Okay, then you can visit this website and you can copy and paste code here. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.